Thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Eastside Hockey Manager. I completely messed up, but it may be to some of you guys' benefit. I don't know. Let me know. I was simming along, and I wanted to stop at the trade deadline, and I made a stupid decision. Uh, I actually simmed a day ahead of the trade deadline, so we passed it. I wanted to do this thing, this whole episode geared towards the trade deadline. But when I checked my mail, I thought the I thought that was the 24th, like today's deadline. And so I stopped it and I simmed past it. So I know some of you guys would like, you know, me simming and then catching you up. But I want to get to the end of this season. And I want to try and speed through March and April and so this episode will be geared to trying this format out of simming because some of you guys want me to. Greg, he n talked to me or wrote a comment about taking away, um, take just not showing me editing the rosters, you know, and just summarizing that. Same with scouting, trying to cut down the fat on making decisions or not making decisions, but making the episodes more streamlined. And I agree with that. Um, you know, sometimes the it's tough to try and make it entertaining and give you guys information, give you context to what's going on because that's sort of been the struggle. And so I really wanted to do a whole episode geared toward the trade deadline, and I missed it. And I really apologize, and so we're just going to sim to the end of the season. Um and we're going to see how it goes. We started this season, you know, we ended at the end of January. And we start off hot five games in a row. We won, then we lost four, and then we beat New York in a shootout. And so we start out hot, then we went cold, and now we're sort of like, eh, we're not really known. We're not really sure what we're doing. And so I'm just going to uh, assign whatever scouts I have left. Sorry, I know we were talked about cutting out the fat, and now I'm like assigning scouts. But I just want to get these guys out. I only have like what a couple. Yeah, I think this is the last guy. So that will be that, and then we'll continue on. So, uh, and then and then the problem was to, uh, real quick, just to fill you guys in on the roster situation. Dalton, Dalton needs to be waived. Uh, Dalton is just not a piece. We have Brian and Ryan both better. They're coming back from IR eventually. We have a, enough defensemen with Sergey Gonchar to be a plug if someone gets injured in the playoffs. Dalton is just not performing. He's not even a quality all-around player. I mean, he's a young guy. But we're going to run into issues when these guys come back because we're maxed out on roster spaces. So it's not something we need to do right now. But we will need to get rid of Dalton. I think release him or cut him. So we're going to try and get through the season. Another win 3-0 against the Sabres. Also, the season's tightening up. It's tightening up. So uh, be aware too, mindful just of the playoffs, playoff race. And I'll give you guys an updated look at that in the NHL. Standings, we have dropped to fourth. We are right in it, though, with the Rangers. Only three points back. The Lightning have trailed off sort of bit. They've cooled off in their last 10. Five and five, you see that. And the Rangers have surged eight and one. So be on the lookout for that. Well, let's go into the Metropolitan. It's really tight again. It's sort of the space out. The Capitals have fallen off their three and three and four. Wow, three, three, and four in their last 10. They've lost one. So be aware. Just, you know, pause it if you want to get I'll go through. Uh, the West, you guys can pause just so you guys can get context around the league, what's going on, and that way I don't have to like constantly try and I don't know. I want to talk to make it entertaining, but I don't always want to be trying to over talk so much. So we're going to continue to truck along in the month of February, trying to get into March as quickly and efficiently as possible. And I think we can keep Dalton. For now, because both our guys are out so long and we lose to the Canadians 3-2, to two. Uh, Brian and I think Murray are both out. They're not like two-week injuries. They're multiple-month injuries. And so I think Brian was set to begin practice in about a month. So we're still a little bit, a little bit of a way away. And oh, nothing really special. So... And we're also getting, I forgot, another... We should be getting a player in transfers in April. We signed a winger, I believe. So 
lose to the Devils. Not really a good good sign. So we're I think it, I I think we have potential as we rebound against Pittsburgh. If uh, we can if we can just make the playoffs, I think we'll be playing with house money. You know, we're in a good situ pardon me, situation. Um because we have a good mix of like right now talent and we have a good mix of veteran play. I, I think we have a good team. It'll be interesting to see how we really do in the playoffs. So and I think as long as we make the playoffs, it's a good season. My concern, though, is for the future, depending on what the playoffs do, and we lose 4-1 to one against Washington, is how well will our young players develop over the offseason? And then another low-key thing also is if we bank on trying to sign these, you know, superstars to, you know, any unrestricted free agent that's really talented. Or that, or sorry, I misspoke. But that's even the concern is typically big players will sign with their team. And I think we're sort of starting to, at least me personally, I'm banking on a team not being able to re-sign a superstar and he's an unrestricted free agent, and we can come in and offer him a fat deal. And now it's even looking suspect that we may not even make the playoffs. We've fallen off so bad in our, in our last 10, losing to the Devils. Uh, it's not going well. I don't know. We're, we're looking a little bit on the fringe because you see the Canadians and the Islanders are marching up. We need a win, boys. There we go, 3-2. to two. We got to keep the wins. Panthers beating the Islanders, that's good news for us. Just we need to we need to keep winning games. I know it's cliche to say, but when you look at, you know, the Red Wings. The Red Wings just beat uh, Boston. And so teams are – I know they're, they're – I know. It's just they're, they're pushing, man. They're, they're pushing. We play the Hurricanes. Let's see. I know the fines are coming through, but – I'm so sorry, guys. I want to dedicate a whole episode to the trade day. I'm so bummed I got those days mixed up. So big game against Carolina. We really need this win. Oh, my gosh. And that's. I don't know if we should switch the lines up. I don't know what to do. I, I, you know, I don't know. I'm still a beginner at this game. You know, I've played it. But, see, like this is – I don't know if you go so far in depth to where you start messing with the team strategies for a YouTube series, you know, if you guys – that's why I don't know. So let's just hope big game against the Detroit Red Wings in the Eastern Conference. And we lose, man. All right. Let's check the schedule. We have lost one, two, three, four. We, we're two and four on the season. I don't know. It's If we don't find a hot streak. Oh, the Canucks fire their head coach. Wow. If we don't hit a winning streak, something's got to be done. Oh, my gosh, man. I don't know. I don't know, guys. We're we're barely holding on to sixth. Who's this Dawes character? Holy smokes. Holy smokes. We got we to take an offer. I, I don't care. We'll approach to sign him. He's gonna be. He'll be. He'll be a key player. He's thirty. I'll offer him a two-year deal at three point five. I think. Let me. Let me check. Let me check. He's thirty years old. What's his shooting at? Eh, his shooting's not amazing. I'll give him two two years. Two years at three mil. I'm not giving him a six year deal. That's actually, I, yeah, I'll give him two years, three mil each. He he could be a player for us. He could be a player for us. And if we get him, we can release the guy too. We can just cut waivers and take the penalty. I think. Kings qualify for the playoffs. There you go. News coming in. We're off. Big game against the Hurricanes. 
Oh my gosh, and we lose, man. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Uh, nothing really. Yeah, the comp how much is the fine for? 22k. I mean, <laughs> at this rate, the season's practically over. I feel like. I don't know if it affects us too much. I honestly don't. The lines are where they should be. I mean, I don't know. Let's check the standings. I don't know. We're bare. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't think the lines are so terrible that they drastically need rearranging. Um, I don't know. Wow, and we could be getting him. Nigel could be coming at the right moment. We Reports are he's rejected Pittsburgh and Dallas. And there it is. Bam. Transfer of Nigel Dawes to the Blue Jackets. Just like that. This guy could be the spark we needed. We'll respond. We will sign this gentleman. So we confirm the transfer. And we win that same night against the Oilanders. 3-2. And so here we go. I we we got that talent. You guys, you bloggers, you tweeters were telling us telling the Oilers or the uh, not Oilers, but the uh Blue Jackets to get some talent and we finally brought a piece of the puzzle in. Let's check the roster. And now we have 24 no maximum limit. Oh. This could be even better news. We could Wait a minute. Were we Oh my gosh. Nope. We're not even going to think about that. Okay. Nigel is definitely playing. And we can scratch. What the heck is going on? Why wasn't. Hold on. This is interesting. Why wasn't Ryan playing that whole time? Were you playing with one defenseman left? Okay. All right, so we have the lines finally after all this time. Have them situated. Now, I don't know if you guys could see this. I'm going to speed through, so I'm going to catch you guys up. We were missing a left defenseman, and Johansson was out. I honestly don't know if throughout that whole time we were not playing with a second left D and a first line center. I honestly don't know if that's the case. It looks like it is because these power play lines are not looking. These power play lines aren't even making sense. And so I'm going to go in and tidy these up and then we'll get back to simming. Okay, so we have this situated for now. Um, I seriously don't know what the. I don't know what happened. I really don't. I don't know what took place. We don't even have to worry about players on roster, that maximum, anymore. So we're good to go with this roster. There's no limit. I honestly don't know if we were missing all those players the whole time. That's why I don't like simming very... I don't know what happened. I don't know why, but we lost so many games in a row. It would make sense, but I don't know why the game would take out players like that. So I I don't know what happened. I honestly don't. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna speed up those parts where I was changing stuff around. But I mean, we've been losing so much. It would make sense that we were missing players. But why would it take out Johansson unless he was injured? But we didn't get. Oh, he was banned for one game. That may have been it. Three sixteen. No, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. So we're going to see if we can rebound 4-3, getting the win back right when we needed it. So I don't know. I have Maybe I have to monitor. You know, th these are the things I'm starting to learn with this is that I really have to pay attention to every little thing. And it's, it's not as simple as, you know, just rushing through like an NHL. And so that's something for me to uh, pay attention to. And now, like, David Savard will be out of action so yeah now i'm like paying attention because i think if we go to tactics okay 
All right, let's continue. All right. Well, let me check the roster. Hold on. Let's go filter, defenseman. All right, Savard is injured, so Dalton will come in. We'll go tactics. Uh, We'll jump. Where is he? Kevin up to there. Dalton can go here. Confirm. Oh, my gosh. We lose 3-2. to two to the flames i'm trying to get to the end of the season i'm trying to grind this out if we can just hold i just want this first year to get to a playoff spot i just want to get first year playoff spot we're holding on but we need wins boys which i'm trying to i may cut this episode up i don't know guys uh horton is still on his cold streak so our resumes practice we're still holding fifth we need a win against the ducks my gosh no, and we lose three to two. We gave up two goals in the third, in the second. We dropped to sixth. It's looking shady. I think we're gonna be able to grind through though. All of uh, all of our uh, to the playoffs. I think so. Now whether we make the playoffs, I don't know. But we should be able to get through. In one piece. We need a win, my gosh. Blackhawks, if we ever needed a win, we lose 4-1. to one. It's slipping away. It's slipping away. Against the Blues in the West, I believe. Slipping away. Let me check. Let me check the roster. Savard can come back. We'll take pull him out. Savard. Savard's coming back. Confirm. I don't know if Dawes just played out the way we thought he would. Check the forwards. Two goal in five games he has three points, so he's doing pretty well. Come on, man. If we ever need a time for the team, oh, Brian's resuming practice at the right time. Has begun full practice following his torn ACL. Big news. All right, let's continue. Big news. We need him back desperately. We need him back. Avalanche fire their head coach. Wow. We need a win. Oh, my gosh. We can't buy a win. Seriously, what is the deal? We've dropped we're we're barely holding on right now. What is the deal, man? Like I want to know why are we not winning? Is there Is Bobrovsky even playing? Yeah, he's the starter. Like we need do, we haven't had a win in so long. What is the deal? Like, the month of March was just... We had one, two, three, three, four, four wins. We finally respond against the Islanders. That was a big win. If we ever decide to wake up and get a win, that was it. The Caps are pushing us, though. The Caps are who we have to watch out for. Let's see. Let's just keep grinding through. Still, we If we just hold above the Caps, any game the Caps play is a much watch for us. Let's check the Caps. Capitals play against the Senators. How'd they do? We lost. The Caps lost as well. So I think it's no harm, no foul. Yeah, it's, it's no harm, no foul. All right, we're going to read all. The last week of the season. Oh my gosh. Capitals lose, which is great news for us. I don't care about the fines. We need a win against... Yes, we win against New York. That was huge. That was huge. A win against New York. That was huge. So we created more space. The Capitals have fallen off even more, but we're still four points ahead of the eighth place team. Which I'm telling you, man, we're going down to the nitty gritty. Now it's three points. We need a win against the Maple Leafs. Yes. Big win. Big win. 
Are we going to hold on? I think we got it. Big win against the Sabres. Yeah, I think that's going to take... Trocek got a milestone. I think that's going to take us to the season. Yep, we're in. We're in. We lose to Islanders, but I think we're in. I don't think it matters too much. Let's check the schedule. Yep. All right. So our first, we made the playoffs, baby. We made the playoffs. We're in. Man, that was a little bit of a, it was a little bit tough. We finally made the playoffs first year with the Blue Jackets. First round against a Pittsburgh team. And we are going to leave it here. Uh, I'm going to chop this up. I don't know how long it was. But, guys, we are in the playoffs. We Let's check where the injuries are uh, real quickly just to see what we need. We got to set the lines and everything. So, Brian uh, is back. We can place uh, – remove him. He is healthy. Brian is healthy. Ryan, he is healthy. We're going to have everyone coming back from injuries just in time for this. Uh, so, remove from – back to the roster yes so everyone's coming back we got to sort everything out but i'll get sorted out and then we will start our series in the next video against the let's check where pittsburgh ended off standings oh not oh they just do the playoff tree all right let's go stage uh overall standings against pittsburgh they were in the eastern conference they were the fourth seed and they played a little bit. They ended on a hot streak. 9-1 their last 10. We struggled 4-6. and six. So I will see you guys in the next video. Get excited. First round action coming up in the next episode.